As the war continues in the Middle East, there are growing concerns now over possible U.S. involvement. 22 News reporter Claire Overton joins us live in studio after speaking with U.S. Senator Ed Markey about the role the United States could play. Nick and CR, the war in the Middle East has been going on for over a year, and unfortunately there are not any signs of ending in sight. The war started when Hamas invaded and attacked Israel last October, and now over the past year Hezbollah and Iran have gotten involved in the war, launching attacks on Israel. Other countries have provided help and aid in other ways. I spoke with Senator Ed Markey today who said he maintains his support of Israel against the attacks, but also helping those who are impacted by the war. It was important for the United States to help uh, the Israeli government to shoot down the incoming Iranian missiles, and I think it's important for the United States to continue to play that role. But ultimately, we need peace. We need to find a way uh, of ensuring that this conflict ends, uh, but uh, it's also important for humanitarian aid to go to those who are most vulnerable uh, in Gaza as well. According to a study from October of 2023 to October of 2024, the U.S. has spent $17.9 billion on military aid to Israel. The U.S. has also provided nearly $336 million in humanitarian aid to Palestinians in Gaza and the West Bank. Just this week, the U.S. also announced they are deploying troops to Israel along with an anti-missile system. Working for you, Claire Overton, 22 News.